What's up guys? Welcome back to the BBT FRG channel with me, mine, aka Ballistic Ball. Uh, other accounts, Manic Meerkat, Dynamic Donkey there, as you can see on the screen. I've uh, been playing my Manic Meerkat account, did something a little bit crazy with it last night. Uh, let me show you. I hit gold yeah quite surprisingly i got no defenses on this whatsoever as you'll see in a second but we managed to go from 13 to rank 16 hit gold in the space of about 15 or 20 minutes and i'm gonna show you how Okay, guys, so before we start, just a quick, polite little reminder, as you can see down there, don't forget to use code BBTFRG in the shop if you wouldn't mind. Awfully please, thank you. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, it helps support the channel, helps support me and everything that I try to do for you guys. As you can see, started here at rank 13. Uh, that was my last battle of 40 hours. That gave me enough keys and tokens to jump to five. And uh, from then on, it was fairly much plain sailing um as you can see just some close wins some fairly easy wins we'll go over that in a sec first of all let's have a look at the tech tree landing craft gunboat uh maxed heavies max we took the straight path through the middle machine guns zookas bottom path rifles cannons warriors troop damage brick uh, maxing everything that was going to be useful to us and leaving the other things alone. Then we went 4ER, rocket choppers maxed them, picked up the extra cannons, uh, got the gramps, um, the TD. I, I got the gramps more to get access to that TD, although the gramps were useful for a little bit. Um, the TD was the real thing, adding that to the rocket choppers made kind of made progressing a little bit easier picked up the troop health and then rather than the direct path to five through cryos i took the long way round mainly because i thought i needed a few extra like cannons or defensive towers on deck get cavan get the critters for a bit of distraction for those rocket choppers and then we jumped to five when i jumped to five i had three chests in the bank which was enough to get me to rocket launchers yeah once i'd made the jump and realized that actually i could pick up a few wins i i sat on those three chests in the hope that i could possibly make gold and lo and behold i did so i was able to make gold and then i got i've got enough now bank to be able to get the rockets uh rocket launchers to max and get the critter launchers to tick four as well so we'll be doing that before our next push with this account but first let's get in and show you the hits themselves so first one was a, against a 4 ER. Now obviously these are these clustered fours uh, people have been doing to sort of try and protect against the full frontal assault, but they leave themselves vulnerable to an attack from the rear. Uh, and that is exactly what I did. I exploited that on this one. So let's take a look at what we did. Eight boats of rocket choppers into this corner, flare up right into that corner to group them, and then across over to here. Now, what I should have done possibly would have been to flare flare them onto that e, the ER, but uh, a ground flare to try and keep them in a tight group. But it was always going to be tricky with this boom cannon here. Uh, these these three around here. So we dropped to let's see, we dropped a boat of critters to try and distract those boom cannons, got the rocket choppers into place, and then just let them open up. Now, fortunately, they managed to get down. Let's just have a quick look there. They managed to get down uh, one boom cannon quickly. The two Zookas that came out of the rocket chopper that fell, they've targeted those and the critters that are left. So as we carry on going through, you can see we're down to six rocket choppers left, more critters for distraction. We lose another rocket chopper there. We finally get that, that ER and then we're able to just get on and hell Mary those last two ERs while the boom cannon is distracted by the critters. And that was how we took that win. Next dub was against Lady Death. That was a two ER. I'm not even going to go and show you that hit. She didn't even compete. Uh, this one here against 05. I think that might have been... Okay, so this was my first Naked 5 that I faced. Uh, I couldn't decide. I was sort of thinking about rocket choppers, but the amount of cannons, the way they were placed, uh, I didn't really fancy it at this point. So I went all gramps on this one. Uh, so let's just take a look at that. We'll speed it up. We'll go double time on that one. Um, so just spread the gramps out. 
some rifles for a bit bit of distraction and to tank the mines and then just let the gramps sort of clear their way through using the critters to clear mines um i probably could have got away without using the critters for mine clearance and gone for that er earlier with the critters but uh, it was the first one that I'd done. So fortunately, we got the dub. We didn't sort of lose too much time on that, um, waiting for them to transition to that final ER. So then we were on to Rick Egg. Uh, Rick Egg was a two ER. So again, I'm not going to show you that. Alex uh, was a five um, so Alex had the mortars, uh, so just needed a little bit of protection. I thought I needed a little bit of protection. In the end, decided to go with the China flare. Now, what's the China flare, I hear you ask? The China flare is where you flare the defence, you drop the bomber. Now, the bombers, rather than running to the flag on the beach, they will stand just in range in order to get that defence. Now, that puts them just out of range of the mortar, so they can take that down. Now, before the mortar drops, you drop your other troops. I've dropped two over there and one over here. Now, right now, the way the mechanics works, right now, those bombers that I'm dropping are all going to go and target this flared defence. But what happens? So we'll let it roll on a few frames. Those bombers kill that defence. Now, those bombers here and over here, that I dropped that were going to target the flared defense. Now readjust their targeting to target the defense nearest to them. So in this case, these bombers will target this machine gun. Down here, these bombers will target possibly the mortar or the machine gun. And then these guys will target the cannon over here. But the important thing, if we let it run, the important thing is that they will all stay a safe distance away from that defence that they're targeting. And that's how you do the China flare. Um, we're now going to drop Kavan and two boats of bombers in the middle there. We're going to let some second wind go in a minute. No, we don't. Do we let some second wind go? We use the critters to clear the mines up the top there. Yeah, Kavan kind of wanders off and does its own thing. Those defences are all down. So these bombers are now kind of they're sort of halfway to this final ER. So what I should have done is just bombarded that ER with critters. But uh, I used the critters for mine clearance instead. That final ER is down. So as these guys get in closer, we can Hail Mary that um, that final ER, drop some critters for distraction. But like I said, I should have just critted that, that ER out. But it didn't cost me the dub. So that was okay. Uh, and I learned a few lessons there about how to take on the fives, which would come in useful later. So that was Alex, Abdo83. Now this, this is where it came in useful. So Abdo was a obviously a 5ER. He had rocket launchers and the critter launchers down. So there was potential that he had seekers. Uh, unlikely, but potentially had seekers. So... Um, we, I think we were ranked rank, rank 15 at this point. So I was wary that he might have C because I knew I was going to have to go fast, um, which meant kind of doing some sort of split hit. I know this wasn't the one I did the split hit. So this was rifles and bombers. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. So we used, we've used the, sorry, rifles, we heavies and bombers. We've used the heavies as a meat shield. Uh, we're coming in from three points here. And Kavan as well with some of his Kavan juice for the little pink guys. They'll be coming out shortly. So it was a question now of really kind of trying to get through these critter launchers as quickly as possible, which we managed quite successfully. Um, and then pushing on the to the ERs. That's that ER down. We got the ER down up the top. And then obviously this one on the left-hand side over here. Top ERs down, left hand side ERs down. So we just go for a little bit of natural clearance now here. And then what I did was bombarded three, four boats of uh, critters onto that final ER with the hope of at least getting some damage into it. As it goes, they managed to take it down in, in its entirety, even with that flamethrower um, burning away at them. That was four boats of critters. Now, obviously, the importance of that was shown in the time there. Two-second win, the two-second dub achieved by those critters taking that... Um, 
taking that ER down. Then on to Rainus. Now, Rainus was a, uh, again, a 5 ER. Rainus had the rocket launchers and um, shock launchers, but Rainus also had the shock blaster there as well. So, as I said shock launchers, I meant critter launchers. The rocket launchers, critter launchers, and the shock blaster. Now, given that he'd gone. So he'd obviously dropped down and got the critter launchers, then had gone round the other way around the that part of the tree. So the chances were he wasn't going to have seekers. So I just needed to be quick. Now, with all the ERs grouped up like this, I thought rocket choppers are going to be the way forward here. So we just drop Cavan to get some rifles out as a bit of distraction. Then we drop eight boats of... Um, rocket launchers clear in from this corner so we kind of clear down to this er flare back up across the back here take out that er let them spread manage the distraction of the shock blaster with the critters uh take out those final two er's potentially with the hail mary so let's just see let's just run this one there go the um pink fellas as a distraction in go the rocket choppers we'll double time this uh, take out all the defences and then obviously as you can see oops as that drops we f we flare to the back there goes the flare that gets everything grouped up at the back together i'm conscious of that shock blaster going to come into play there it goes so uh, we get some critters down onto the shock blaster that's enough to distract it but those rocket choppers don't take long to take it down they're realistically i probably should have hell mary that this er and then transition to this er but uh they didn't take long didn't take long to make light work of that i knew he wasn't going to have seekers so it was going to have to be a devastatingly quick hit to get me his he was quick three minutes five but not quick enough lord vader then was a, a four er 34 um now i knew that bombers were going to take too long on this one so i kind of had to go death or glory with the rocket choppers and again i did same as i did earlier dropped all my rocket choppers in this corner flare up into this corner and then flare over behind this er right in behind it in the hope that they could skip past this boom cannon um i think one of them got taken out by the boom cannon and then it was just a question of dropping um critters for distraction so there goes that flare group them in the corner second flare to get them up the top there timing was a little bit better on that one now if you look uh just here so there you see the um boom cannon twitching and whilst the rocket launchers appear to be out of range they're in the air so you kind of have to draw an imaginary line down almost where this smoke comes down and that smokes inside the radius uh the attack radius of the boom cannon that's why it's triggered the boom cannon however as we scroll on they then get outside the radius of the boom cannon uh whilst the critters go down and then we get the distraction so we kind of clear up lose, losing a couple there to the boom cannons drop some critters hail mary on this last er and um, pray to the boom gods that we've got enough which we did as it goes uh lord vader's hit was fairly slow at a 229 and i probably could have gone bombers against that but we weren't to know that which set me up for the boss fight kev b big shout out to you kev b uh my boss fight there let's take a quick look at that again he was a uh 5er with rocket launchers and a shock blaster so i know he's gone around the top path from the rocket launchers and won't have seekers so i just need to make sure that this hit is efficient it doesn't need to be ridiculously fast it just needs to be efficient so in the end what i decided to do with this one was cavan and a boat of bombers to come up this back and take that er out at the top one boat of bombers on their own to take this out because there was nothing there ranging and then five the remaining five boats of um rocket choppers would kind of naturally follow up this side and the only thing i'd really need to do would be to manage the distraction with some critters so let's see how that one well obviously you know how it panned out so there go the five rocket choppers bit of distraction on the machine guns just to take away from that cannon cavan and the bombers up the top there and then the bombers down the bottom wait for some gbe drop the distraction with Kavan, and then it's just a question of manage these guys they're not going to be under any threat down there there's no threat up the top now i've got the rifles away so 
this cannon took out one uh, top cannon up the top there took out one rocket chopper whilst we managed the distraction with the critters down the bottom here more critters hail mary to the final er could have been more efficient could have been quicker but it was quick enough as it turned out and that is how we made it to gold and that's where we sit so uh i hope you enjoyed the video and if you found anything educational or helpful there then that's even better don't forget to drop a like on the way out if you enjoyed the video uh comments below are always welcome and they also please the youtube algorithm overlords uh another quick reminder don't forget to use bbtfrg in the chop shop very much appreciated as always and i look forward to seeing you on the next video catch you later guys Bye.